Hi friends, it's Allison. Welcome to my messy desk. I have to just uh, get stuff done today. I am all over the place. I have like 12 things going on my desk and whew, there is no rhyme or reason to any of it. I thought I would just catch you guys up and chat a bit. I miss you guys. It has been bananas lately and uh, yeah. I'm just going to take you along. So I have a lot of things on my desk. And like I just said, I have to get some stuff done with it. So I have my planner. I have some happy mail. I have my glue book. I have another project. It's, I'm not even joking. If you looked at my desk, you would die right now. Okay. So I'm, oh gosh, I don't even know where to start. So this is kind of what, kind of what my process is some days. This is, this is nuts. Obviously there's days I can't work in the journal and then I feel like, oh, I'm behind or whatnot. So I got to come in and get some stuff done. So I'm just going to plop some stuff in here. Uh, so it's here when I'm ready. And hopefully, okay, if you can hear snorting, uh, this is Buddy. He's just, I don't know what's wrong with Buddy today. He's having a tough day. He is a senior dog and he, I don't know what's wrong with him. He is like presenting as really anxious today. So he cannot make up his mind if he wants in or out. He has come in and out like four times already. And quite frankly, he's driving me nuts. He's like sleeping in the doorway uh, where I can't open it or close it. So I'm just putting some stuff in here so I know it's there when I do this. Okay. So the first thing I thought I would do is just uh, prep some stuff. I lost my slipper. It's officially slipper weather here. Well, it's always slipper weather for me. I'm cold all the time. So... It's beautiful sunny day here in Washington today, but it's like 52 degrees. So that's cold enough for me to put on some sweats and slippers. All right. And I don't have to log on to work for a little bit. So I thought I would come down here and clear some stuff up. We have a weird day at school today. What well, we, my child that is home. I have one that's home now and one that's away at school. Hey, if you're new here, welcome. This is sometimes what it looks like here. <laughs> a little bit of craziness happening. I'm taking this paintbrush out of my planner because I took it to work yesterday. Okay, so I, um, I'm i just going to prep some happy mail just because I need to. I need to have them kind of ready to go. And there's no... Uh, rhyme or reason to this at all. They're not for like specific people. I have three that I need to send out and or that I want to send out and so I just want to definitely get those ready but um, have some envelopes. I like to prep you know a few at a time obviously and now that I'm thinking about it, I should probably, or would like to do, I try not to use should. Should's very like judgmental and comes with some other emotions, right? Um, I may choose to do some other colors now that I'm thinking about it being kind of fall and Christmas coming up. Well, Christmas for some of us, if you celebrate Christmas, obviously. But regardless, fall is like a season that most of us are having right now. Obviously, if you're not in this part of the world, then you're not having fall. So gosh, I don't know. We're all different, right? We all have our own experiences. So I'm just... See, now he left again and he's going to go up and check his bowl or something. I don't know what he's doing. My poor buddy boy is... A very senior dog, and he, I think he's having some senior moments, if you will. <laughs> I'm not too sure. 
Oh, I'm trying to be patient with him, but he's driving me bananas today. And I've like tried to bring him in here and put his bed in here with me. I mean, he normally likes to be by my side, but not too sure what's happening. So, all right, what are you guys up to? This is not anything, uh, you know, dramatic. I just thought if I could get these done, then I could let them dry on this side and then add, you know, the other side later, obviously. So I'll prep a few. I pulled this thicker brush just because it covers a little bit more at a time. The problem is sometimes I prep these envelopes or whatever envelopes I'm using, and then um, I get to the post office and it's like cheaper to put it in the, you know, whatever, priority mail or whatever it's called. And so then it goes in this ugly, like just blank envelope that I'm not, okay, see buddy's back again. <laughs> oh buddy, it's gonna be a day, isn't it? It's okay, we all have those days. I just can't quite figure out what he needs. So I am just adding some water. So this drips a little bit, if you can't see, I'm just doing that a little bit, whoops. That's okay too, that is okay too. We'll just go like that. Yep, that just adds. I was gonna do bubble on this anyway, so that's that's all workable. Whoops, some splatter and paint, splatter and paint. I am just using my um, Jane Davenport three color palettes. This is um, like the only really watercolor set I have. I mean, I guess I have a, I mean, I have the crayons, which are super fun. And I'm sad because Reflections at, is that what it's called? Reflections at Michael's used to sell two, is that their brand? Recollections, sorry. I was like, that doesn't sound right. Used to sell different sets of the, the watercolor crayons and I have three sets. So I have the basic big set that they always have. And then they had like two, I don't know, special sets. One's like summer and one's, I don't know, smelly or something. Anyway, I haven't seen them in a long time. So then of course I start like hoarding them. Not, I didn't buy any more. I just don't want to use them, which is so lame, I know. Um, so anyway, I just need to use them up. But I enjoy these watercolors just because you can get some color on there fairly quickly. Yep. That'll work. That'll work. And then I think we'll just, uh, you know, let these, let these dry. I'm literally going to turn my stool around and... Toss them on the floor and get out some more. Uh, now he's sleeping like right behind me, like right here. And now he'll probably snore. And so you can hear that delightful. Can you hear him? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Alrighty then. I am going to choose to do this one kind of more in what I would consider... Um, Some Christmas colors, maybe, just in case I send out. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do for Christmas in terms of Happy Mail or whatnot. I don't do, I know a lot of you do like a big grouping of things, and I haven't done that yet. Maybe I'll do that this year. I know a lot of you prep things and send out like a bunch to everyone in the community or a lot of people in the community, and I haven't ever done that. I've sent out you know, specific things to people, but not. We'll see, we'll see. But let me tell you, it feels good just to come in and play because I don't know why. It's It's been crazy. Like energy-wise, it's crazy. I don't know. And work-wise and just all of it, so. I guess I should check the moon and see what the moon's doing, where we're at with that. I always tend to check it late, if that makes sense. Like, 
I realize there's some crazy stuff happening and then I'm like, oh, <laughs> that makes more sense. That makes more sense. All right, so I kind of like that. I bought these sets because I love the little tins they're in. And like if you're gonna travel or pack or go into another room or you need something compact, uh, they're fun and I'm not going to buy any more watercolors for a very long time because I don't need them obviously however I think the next thing I would get might be well I really want some custom ones so I really 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 want to buy some from Julia K but that's like individually hand poured beautiful watercolors that might be a little bit past my my pay grade if you will in terms of watercolor <laughs> in terms of needs um, but I really want to try those. Um, but I was thinking I might get like a big set. I know a couple people have big sets that, you know, have all the things in one because I end up doing this. I end up getting out all three, which is kind of not the point, right? Eh, we'll see. We'll see. I'm just adding some water to see if there it goes. Let's see if I can get that to drip a little bit. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have been cutting up magazines like a fool because I have them. And I was like, they just need to be, um, oh, see that? Do I save that? I already used it as a, look at, I'm throwing it away. Gold star for Allison. I have so many magazines and I just needed to go through them. And so I have a big pile right here. So I'm going to go through those with you guys if you want to hang out and do that. We'll see. All right, so let's see. Those two can be done for now. And then I think I'll just do one more since I have the space right here on my desk. And I'm gonna do some blue. Oh, I meant to bring my spray bottle down. Shoot, I went up to fill it. Sorry about the construction, if you can hear that. They, you know, it's been over a year. Major, major remodel. The house, like, below us. Major remodel. Not, um, that's not even the right word. Is that the right word? Like, not remodeling their house, adding on to their house. So um, just crazy, like building a pool and building a deck and building, you know, that sort of stuff. So whatever it is, it's just been noisy for a year with banging and that beeping. Can you hear that? Mm -hmm. For a year, I'm not over a year. I'm not joking. I'm not, I'm like not exaggerating. It's been a little, a little much. And of course it was mm, less painful <laughs> uh, pre-COVID because we were gone, right? We were like going to work. And so we weren't here all day to listen to it. But then when COVID first happened and we, all four of us were home, home all day and Zooming and we were like, oh, this this is not good. So now, obviously my boy is gone, and so he is not here to listen to it, but I still Zoom from home one to two days, depending depending on what's happening, and I'm going into the office the other days, but my daughter's home every day, Zooming for high school. Okay, what is happening with you guys, you guys? Because I was just talking to... Holly uh, with Journal with Dolly and we were on a text string with some other people but she said they're shutting down again where they're at and I was like oh my gosh I would I don't know I mean that's like really bad because we're still in like the opening up phases 
and our county's been doing really, really well, but we're like the last county to open some stuff. So it's just been really heartbreaking, like for my girl, especially, obviously she, um, you know, she can't play soccer yet. So, I mean, literally the town next to us is playing and the town over here is playing. And the crazy part is her team has girls from, you know, all these places on it. So it doesn't make any sense. I mean, but where the team practices in this county um, can't practice, can't play games yet. They can practice, but not play, which just, ugh. anyway. So what is happening with you guys? Like, I don't know. My daughter's full-time Zoom school. I like that. I'm totally inspired by um, these leggings I saw this morning that I really want. They're these new dragon leggings. I was like, oh, those are beautiful. That one kind of came out like dragony. It wasn't supposed to be. That was going to be my my winter Hanukkah one. <laughs> but I like the green. We'll run that a little bit. And so, yeah, what does your school look like? What are What's going on with you guys or work or whatever you do in your day? Has it changed? Is it getting better? It seems like we just got to get better. I just, I don't know. The rest of the world, every, you know, every place is different, obviously. So that picked up nicely. I guess I'll just leave that for now. And let those dry. Hopefully Betty doesn't walk on them. And then I have, well, I have a few more, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to do that for now. And that will be enough for a while. I don't know, you guys. I don't know about this whole thing. I think it's. And then the crazy part, like I was reading all this stuff about California. So if any of you are in California, please let me know. I messaged all my family and friends. There was all these regulations put out, like about the holidays. No, like for real. Like you can only gather up to so many people in your home and they can only be from so many households. So like, like our family can't get together in California. Is this true? I can't even, I don't even know. Because... You know, like, it can only be three households. So, like, my parents and then me, my sister, my brother's family, my aunt. You know, we're all in different households, let's say. My my husband's family. Uh, <laughs> mm. I don't know. I don't know. All right. So. Ooh, that one's kind of folly, huh? All right. We'll let those dry for now. We'll come back and do layers later. Okay, that's that's step one of Happy Mail envelopes. And then these all go. I've showed you. Can I even get it out? Because I have so much stuff piled right here. This is like an old soapbox that I bought from um, TJ Maxx. And it had like a beautiful gift Christmas soap in it one year. And so these fit nicely in here. So I'm always about find what you, you know, can around the house and use it. And oh gosh, I know you guys know because I've showed you last time, but I do still have this watercolor set too. So I can't buy another one. This is the last one I bought. And Sweet Carrie said, would it fit in a eyeglass case? And it fits beautifully. And this is definitely a travel one, right? That you can like. So that's my other, oh, that's coming unglued. Uh, that's my other travel one, but I, I do love that one. So that one's tucked over there. Okay, let's see. What's next? Let's put this away because if I don't, uh, Allison will spill it is what would happen. I can promise you with, okay, tuck my water over there. Okay, let's work on this pile. I have... Let's show you the glue book, shall we? Do you want to see the glue book? All right. Let's get you situated. This is an old um, Happy Planner. And let me take a sip. I have just, uh, for those of you that don't have a Happy Planner or I'm just 
trying to make sure. Yes, this was a happy planner. Okay. These uh, covers were, this is not a happy planner. I'm so sorry. That's what I was thinking. So this is a, I think a Michael's brand. I think this is the recollections again. And so they made, they made them one year with changeable covers. And so I used to, it obviously used to have this on it. I'll probably switch it back to this. I like the stripes a little bit more. But anyway, I swapped it out. All right, let's show you where I'm at. Because I've done some work in here. And these pages aren't finished. This one might be finished. Just because it already has some... I just feel like it's finished. This one may not be. I may go back in and add some stuff. So I'm finding that I'm okay working on a little bit of a page and a little bit of a page and not completing a whole page. That seems to be working for me. And I started off, <laughs> oh gosh, where's Nicole? See, I have like 12 things on my desk that I have to work on. I started off kind of doing like themes and putting stuff together. And so this is obviously, like I want to put this somewhere on here, but I don't know where. And then I want to put, and I just... Anyway, so that's kind of why they're tucked in here. And so I, and this one, I just gently taped in. I know this is going to go over the other images, but I loved that. So I cut those out. More Oreos and cookies. I'm loving this page. I have a couple spots left to fill and then I'll put words and some more stuff on it, but I am loving that. Oh, see this? See, this is just cut out on my desk and I feel like this needs to go on this page right there. Maybe I'll tuck it in those corners. Okay, see, you guys are helping me. All right, this is kind of where I'm at with this. Blue page is almost done. Again, needing to go in and add some stuff. I want to add those after, right? Little cutouts. So I'm enjoying the process of this. It's, um, you know, it's relaxing to go in and do. And I just gave up the pressure of finishing one page or figuring out it has to be this or that. So that's kind of where I was getting stuck. I've never done a glue book with like square pictures only before. So um, as inspired as I am, it's, it's difficult for me. I'm not going to lie. I love this page. This is like my mood board. This is definitely like my synergy meditation page, if you will. I'm, I'm digging on this page. Just the colors and whatnot. I do love this page also. So it's coming along. I'm I'm excited. And you can see like I'm getting more just kind of random pictures. They're not definitely color. They're not like a theme. They're just kind of different pictures on a page. So I'm feeling better with that. Here is my, my nod to fall page so far I might it doesn't quite fit is my only thing but I might just wing it I don't know I have some more fall pictures too so I'm I'm liking that and this one's kind of again I am drawn to kind of color so I love I love everything on this page. I'm definitely going to cut these out and use them on this page. And then I love the sugar cookie and I know it has the number on it, but I think I'm going to use it and then like, you know, cover up that little piece with another piece is my thought. Cause I can't not use this cookie. It is too beautiful. So beach page. This was like all out of one magazine and I just had to, cut it up and use it. I should have maybe, well, I wouldn't have really used it for anything else. So now it's in here, but I'm not going to put these on different pages either. Like that didn't make sense to me. My brain was like, mm, no, not going to do that. So there's another fall page. Look how cute that guy is. Oh, all right. I 
did start like a voting page. So I'll just continue to add stuff. And then that's kind of it. So, you know, I have a good amount of pages left to use, which is exciting. And then it does have this pocket in the back. So I have been tucking some things in here that I think I'll use in my glue book and not necessarily in like my art journal, for an example, is where my other cut images go, which is why my brain has a little bit of a hard time separating it. Okay, let me show you. Let me show you what I have here. This is all cutouts from this week, and so I need to sort them and figure them out. Here's my planner, which we don't need to look at today. And I'm warming up so I can take off my scarf. All right. See, I just have all these things I cut out this week and that I want to go through. Okay, now, I mean literally, like this is, here we go. Let's, let's see where we're at. Okay, that is 26 minutes. That is a complete, just ramble as Elizabeth, <laughs> I don't even know. Oh my gosh. I'm going to cut it off here because I know also that most of you don't like watching more than, you know, like a super long video. So I'm going to make it like whatever, catch up chat part one, and then we'll do catch up and chat part two, which will be like this glue book stuff. Okay. So I'm going to cut it off here. And then if you want to come back and see what what I have cut out for my glue book and see if I can get some sort of, I mean, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Uh, if you want to come back and see if I can get some sort of something done with all of this, ah, we'll do a separate video for that. So we'll, we'll call this whatever chaos and chat or something part one. And then I will turn the camera back on and start part two if you're more interested in just the glue book stuff. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. <laughs> Take care. Bye.